Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. I'm on my subscriber reacts request page on GuitarGate. And Nicholas, Nicholas, thank you for being a subscriber. Take my lessons and courses. Uh, he has Margaret Glaspy Rainbow, Casey Musgraves cover. And I recognize this dude, Julian, in here. He goes, uh, Margaret's voice, Julian's accompaniment, and a Casey Musgraves song. What more could you ask for? If you guys didn't know, I am a very, very big Casey Musgraves fan. Um, it's just true. She's phenomenal. Uh, and so I don't think I've ever heard anybody cover this song. And I do not know who Margaret is. So this is Ice Cold. Let's do it. you didn't even notice it ain't raining anymore it's hard to breathe when all you know is this of seeing above the rising water line well the sky is finally open the rain and wind stop blowing but you're stuck out There's so many cool things that are happening in here. Forget that I love the song, and it's a total hit. Uh, Margaret sounds great. It's very delicate. But watching Julian watch her, like, breathing, and, like, you, you can see it. He's watching her intently and voice leading every little piece of it. Your basic structure of the song is... So it's D major, right? It's your key center. So one, six, B minor, four, G major, and five, A major. Kind of sounded out for a second. But there's a couple little tricky things that are in here. I'm gonna go back one verse, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm hearing, and then I'll let it play out, hopefully. You never know, you get what you get. It's about to come around. So he's got the D here like this. Sus. Third, so voice sitting down. If you could see what I see. Right. Right to the B, right? You'd be blind. See how he see, see how that smile? He's tracking her. He is absolutely tracking her. Watch this. Because she's she's feeling it. Eyes closed, just in the room. Now, right there, he's constantly going back to this, it's like this D over A thing, right? It's like alternating kind of the, the root in the fifth, just thickening it up. Here we go. Voice lead down. 
right? D, A over uh, C sharp, B. G, but open. A like this, A, but you're adding, or sorry, you're, you're, you're playing the two instead of the third. So A sus two, or A two if you will. B minor. F sharp seven. There's one of the little squirrels in here, right? Again, in the key of D, you have an F sharp minor, be your three chord, but you're making it a dominant seven because going back to B minor. So you're giving yourself a functioning dominant. Functioning meaning the third resolves, the tritone resolves, but the easiest way to look at it is the third resolves up to the tonic of where you're going. So, right? Now that, this is one of my favorite parts. B minor, A, or sorry, D over A, and then this is E major over G sharp, so E major first inversion. So the progression goes to E, right? But this is G sharp, E, B. That's killer. Very basic, very simple, if you will. But tell me that that little, tell me that G sharp isn't crushing your face right now. And now, again, D over A, making it thick there. E7 here. Again, this should be E minor, a two chord in the key of D, but we're, we're making this functioning, right? So what, what's this gonna do? Our E7 is gonna function to A, our G sharp gonna go up our third of our five chord, third of our functioning dominant, it's gonna to resolve to the root of the chord we're going to. And then that's A7, add a B in there, and then, and then A over C sharp, A7 over C sharp, so so you're basically keeping an A7 sound, but you're gonna to walk towards your tonic, D. Sorry, forgive me. Yeah. And then push right into the. That was hot. So G on the bass, grabbing these double stops. How do you do that so slick like that? He didn't do this. It's A and C sharp. That makes it. Keeps it in key, but you think G, you think, or your, your typical voice leading, but it's. Makes it. right to A. Makes it amazing. So you're basically getting G, A, right? Root and major third, root and major third. Then you're going up G, A, major third and fifth, major third and fifth. G, A, G, A, 
Love it. So slick. It's so simple and perfect. And suss it out, why don't you? Tie up your board, take off your coat, and take a look around. Did you see that breath? Now, I feel like I missed something before. For those of you that have already caught it, please forgive me. Yeah, it wasn't, unless he did it differently before. He's not going to the F sharp there. Yeah, so it's descending. So from B, add in the major seventh, the flat seventh. But he could be playing the F sharp in the bass. That's killer. That's killer. Either way, that needs to happen. But look at the breath they take together to come back in here. Tie up your board, take off your coat, and take a look around. Everything is alright now. Suss it out. As the sky is finally open, the rain and wind stop blowing. But you stuck out in Snag the it. same old storm again. Double chord. Hanging over your head. It'll all be alright. Yeah. Okay, so key takeaway here is uh, you're seeing two people really in tune with each other. Are they together? Do they date? I have no idea. But the way, the way that they're watching each other, especially the way he's watching her, because they're not rushing the song at all. They are breathing together. And there are a couple spots where he like jumps and takes, so it's like, like where he's pushing in the middle of her breath, um, where and like gives her that little thing to kind of grab onto, like there's the pulse. Like he is tracking her entire body, like breathing, like the whole thing. Um, it's incredible to watch. Uh, and it's, it's those little things combined with the super tasteful, like the, right? Going to the, going to the, uh, yeah, it's great voice leading, great song, incredibly sensitive, not rushed, um, but just two people really in tune with each other, waiting for everything, but also giving each other the little cues when they need to. Awesome. Awesome. Margaret, love it. Julian, you know I love you. Um, very, very, very cool. And who suggested this again? Nicholas. Nicholas, thank you so much. You have good taste, my friend. Uh, thanks for being a subscriber on the website and supporting me and this whole channel. Uh, those of you that take the extra step uh, and join over at my website on GuitarGate make all of this possible because the vast majority of these YouTube videos get demonetized. Yes, I would do it anyway, uh, whether it made money or not. But that is how I support. Uh, this is what I do for a living. Um, and if you want my lessons and my courses and you want um, the ability to post videos to this page like Nicholas, where I pick most of my reacts, uh, it's the first link in the description. 
I invite you to come join GuitarGate. It's only 10 bucks, uh, and I'd love to be your online teacher. And what you'll find more than anything uh, is that it's really just a community of people trying to pick it up every day, get a little bit better um, each time you get it in your hands, and you keep it in your hands. Awesome. See you soon. Cheers.